Hi, welcome to Salesforce Techbook. In this session, we are going to discuss about what is Omnichannel, what are the different types of routing available in Omnichannel, and how to configure queue based routing. What is Omnichannel? Omni means all together in one place, and channel means ways to communicate per support. Omnichannel means all channels in one place. For example, if we have any issue with our solar panels, then we will call to our customer support or we will send an email or we will fill the form available in the websites that is any type of communication with the dealer or support team for any issue is a channel omni channel solves any issues related to agents work routing what are the different types of routing available in omni channel there are three types of routing available in omni channel they are queue based routing skill based routing and external routing Queue based routing. In queue based routing, if a case is assigned to a queue, then Omni channel will assign cases directly from queue to the agent based upon his availability. Then the agent will see this case as a notification or pop up to him. Skill based routing. In skill based routing, we have to assign skills to the agent. And Omni channel routes the work to the best agent, that is, the agent who have the required skills. External routing. In external routing, we can integrate third-party routing using a partner application with Omnichannel. Now we will see how to configure queue-based routing. These are the steps to configure queue-based routing. Enable Omnichannel, create a service channel, create routing configuration, assigning routing configuration to queues, create presence configurations, create presence statuses, add presence statuses to the profile and add the Omnichannel to the utility item. Now we will implement all these steps practically. Let's go to our R. Here our first step is enable Omni channel. To enable Omni channel, in quick find search for Omni channel. Click on Omni channel settings. Here we have to enable this checkbox, enable Omni channel and click on save. Now the Omni channel is enabled. Second step is we have to create the service channel. To create service channel in quick find search for service channel. Quick point search for Omni channel. Refresh this page once. Search for Omni channel. Click on service channels. Service channel is a way to communicate with the support team. Here we can create service channel for any custom object or some standard objects like case or lead. For example, if we create a channel for case, then any case that comes to the Omni channel will route to the agent automatically. To create service channel, click on new. Give the channel name. I am giving high priority cases channel. Developer name will auto populate. Select the Salesforce object as case and click on save. Now the service channel is created. Next step is create routing configuration. To create routing configuration, click on routing configurations. Routing configuration determines how work items are routed to the agents. Here, work item means case, lead, or any custom object. So click on new. Give the routing configuration name. I am giving high priority cases routing. Developer name will auto populate. 
give the routing priority. I am giving one. Here routing priority determines the order in which work items from the queue are routed to the agents. Routing priority with lower number are routed to the agents first. Here we are giving the routing priority for high priority cases is one. So the high priority cases are routed to the agents first compared to the medium and low priority cases. Next one is routing model. If we select least active as routing model, then the incoming cases will be assigned to the agent whose work is consuming smallest amount of capacity. For example, if we have two agents, agent A and agent B. And agent A has overall capacity of 5 cases and agent B has overall capacity of 10 cases. A has 3 active cases and B has 5 active cases. Here A's used capacity is 3 cases, that is 3 active cases and B's used capacity is 5 cases. Here A's work is consuming less capacity compared to B's work. So omni-channel routes to the in, routes incoming cases to the agent A. If we select most available as the routing model, then the incoming cases are routed to the agent who has the greatest amount of available capacity. For example, agent A has overall capacity of 5 cases and B has overall capacity of 10 cases. A has 3 active cases and B has 5 A active cases. Here A's available capacity is 5 minus 3 that is 2 cases and B's available capacity is 10 minus 5 equal to 5 cases. Here agent B has more available capacity compared to agent A. So omni-channel routes the incoming work items to the agent B. Here I am selecting least active as routing model. Next one is we have to select the work item size. Here we have to select units of capacity or percentage of capacity. But we cannot select both. Units of capacity. It indicates the amount of agents overall capacity. Here I am giving as 1. Percentage of capacity means it indicates the percentage of agents overall capacity. Click on save. Here we have created the routing configuration. Next we have to assign this routing configuration to the queue. So in quick find search for queue. Click on queues. Click on new. Give the label. I am giving high priority cases. Key. Q name will auto populate. Select the routing configuration which we created just now. Click here. Select this high priority cases routing. Select the supported object, select case and click on add. Next we have to add the queue members. Here we can add agents as a queue members. We can add any number of agents and we can add any user as an agent. Here I am adding system admin as an agent. Select the system admin and click on add. Click on save. Now we have assigned the routing configuration to the queue. Next step is we have to create presence configurations. To create presence configurations in quick find search for omni channel. Click on presence configurations. Here we can define configurations like how much work an agent can accept. Click on new. Give the presence configuration name. I am giving high priority. Click 
case is gone. Developer name will auto populate. Give the capacity. Here I am giving 20. Capacity means how many work items an agent can accept. If we enable this checkbox, allow agents to decline work items, then the agent has the ability to decline the work items. But if he declines, he has to provide the reason. Click on save. We have created a presence configuration. Next, we have to create presence status. To create presence status, click on present statuses. Here, we have to define the status for agents. Click on new. Give the status name. Giving available. Give the developer name. Select the channel. High priority cases channel. And click on add. Click on save. Here we can add any number of statuses. I am adding another status. Click on present status. Click on new. Give the status name. I am giving busy. Select busy. Click on save. Next we have to add this present statuses to the profile. So in quick find search for profiles. Click on profiles. Here we have to assign these statuses to the profile. Then only profile users can see those statuses in the Omni channel. Here we can select the profile of the agent we have added as a member to the queue. In queue, I have added system admin as an agent. So I am selecting system admin profile. Click on system administrator. Hover on enable service present status access and click on edit. Select these statuses. Click on add. Click on save. Now we have added the present statuses to the profile. Last step is we have to add the omni channel to the service console app. To add the omni channel to the service console app in quick find search for app manager. Click on App Manager. Search for Service Console App. Click on this action menu. Click on Edit. Click on Utility Items. Click on add utility item, search for omni channel, click on omni channel, click on save. Now click on back. Click on app launcher, search for service console app. Click on service console app. Here we can see the omni channel. Here it is in offline. Click on omni channel. Click on this action menu. And make the status as available. Now we will 
create a case to check how omni channel will route the cases to the agent so click on cases tab click on new give the status as new and select the priority as high select the case origin you can select anything and give the subject click on save but omni channel will assign the cases to the agent only after a case is assigned to the queue so we have to route the case to the queue or ownership of the case is changed to the queue to assign high priority cases to a queue automatically uh, we need to design a flow i have already created a flow now we will see that flow this is the flow i have created here we have to replace our queue name so go to setup in pick find search for queues click on queues click on the queue we have created copy our queue name go to the flow and paste here click on done click on save and activate the flow now go to service console app and refresh the page now we will create a case with high priority and check how omni channel will route the case to the agent click on new give the mandatory fields select the priority as high give the subject click on save now the omni channel will assign the cases to the agent automatically here agent has to accept this case and he has to work on it this is how we can configure the queue based routing This is the reference link please go through this link please subscribe to salesforce textbook thank you